Well, you see, what everything is going to be revolve around what is going on in America. God is now shaking the foundations of the Western world, and in the process is awakening the consciousness of the children of light in the world. And now there's this great pulling apart, one from the other, the light from the darkness. We are not of the darkness, we are of the light, Paul said. So we see the military conflicts that are now preparing to unfold in the East. Russia and China are standing back and they don't know exactly how they should be involved in these conflicts or how they should withhold themselves in this conflict seems that Russia does have an issue with the Taliban, with uh, fundamentalist Islam, but of course Muhammad said, woe to those who, uh, who don't see the true meaning of the Quran and woe to them in the day they see the angels. And uh, that's what the Soviet Union and China are. They are fierce military angelic orders. That, that's why the scripture says, and that the you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that obey not God. Well, those angels are not coming out of the heaven. They're coming out of the heaven of human comprehension. They're coming out of the east. They're coming out of Russia. They're coming out of China. So it is my belief, although it could happen otherwise, that Russia and China will enter into the conflict in the most severe way in order to support that which is unfolding in America. Because only in America could the true spiritual revolution unfold. Only in Mikhail Gorbachev, when he came to power in the Soviet Union in the 1980s, and in his traveling back and forth between Russia and America, he and his wife, Raisa, who are very astute students of the philosophy of uh, communism, understood that the true socialist revolution could not happen anywhere but in America. It could not happen in Russia, which is comprised mostly of a peasant class, God bless their soul. But they had no access to the vast talents and skills that the American people had access to. They had no, not that they didn't have access to religious impulse, desire for communion with God. There is a deep religious sentiment in Russia underlying that, uh, that sort of uh, defines the Russian soul. But here in America, God has brought every stream of religious consciousness to bear upon our times here in the West, Buddhism, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Hinduism, and it, it is here that we're putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Here where we have not only the desire for these things, but we have the talents and skills and the means to communicate these ideas. And so Gorbachev knew that only in America could this happen. And of course he even made the statements many times that socialism in Russia supports the cause of Christ. Even if he unconsciously um, said it and didn't fully, was not fully aware. So it's my contention then as this new thing begins to be born in America according to Isaiah 66 and Revelation 12 that there will be severe repressions in America against this emerging light. There will be arrests, there will be executions. In a time of crises, it's against the law. We saw it in World War I when it was a crime, I believe at that time, punishable even by death, to speak up against the war efforts of America in a time of war. Well, it's the same today. 